Hi, my name is Reno Barak. I'm a husband, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm a food lover. As one of the most successful businessmen in Indonesia, what do you think are the keys to running a successful business? Before I start, probably calling me the most successful is, is very humbling. Thank you. Um, it may not be true, but thank you. I really don't see like successful formula how you can create a successful business. In my view and in my personal belief based on my experience, you just gotta do what you gotta do. What I mean by that is that, for example, let's say if you wanna try and lose weight, what you do is, you know, cut the portions, do proper amount of exercise, and then you'll definitely you'll lose weight. If not, there must be something wrong. It's just that I think we need to apply it with a rational mind and a good spirit. And in order to do that, I try to do exercise very regularly. What I do is boxing. And I think it, I finally found the right sports for me that fits my lifestyle and fits my mindset, which sort of like relevant to the business world. Because you, you just gotta keep going, you stumble upon big holes and big problems and you gotta overcome it. And again, the biggest enemy that you face is probably yourself. So in, with that kind of discipline in your head, uh, I cannot obviously guarantee and say this is the right way to do it. Just, just do what you gotta do. You delve in different industries. How do you decide which business you want to create and develop? Is there a formula to it? I wouldn't say there is a formula to choose what you want to do. How I normally approach is it is I see opportunity in the market. Depends, you know, where you are, when you are, what you're going to do, how you're going to do. Do you have the cap capability of the right people, the right financing, etc., etc. The the list can go on very long, but I think it's like it's very important not only through you you can envision something but it's also important to discuss it with the people close to you with your staff with the people who understand or who are already in the business in the industry to consult whether this is the right way to do it or not because then again then in these kind of times you you need the right friends to to ask for obviously the consultation so i think it's important to pinpoint like what you want to do, how you're going to do, where you're going to do it. But what I normally apply is that I most of the time do the business that I understand. So before deciding anything, like do I understand it and do I want to do it a long term? Of course, like, so for, like let's put aside capital market like stock trading, etc. You can do that in one day and you can make money, lose money. That's different. But what I mean is that when you want to try to build a business, whether it's in properties, in F&B, it's in a startup, internet, uh, digital world, etc., etc. Do I want to do it? Because I think one of the best blessings we can get as men uh, of course this is talking purely on a professional uh, perspective is to find the job that you like that you love basically the things that keep you awake at night how should i do this better how can i do this better like what trick or tips and tricks do i need in order to enhance my my how do you say like the to be a better self you know, in, in, in your workplace. So that's always the first question that I ask. Do I want to do this a long time? Will I like it a long time? So if this is like a question mark, then I, I normally would back off from the opportunity because it's very important. Without, there is no product that can be created better without passion. Good products always come with passion. That's what I believe. Throughout years running businesses, what is the most memorable or rewarding moment that you've experienced? Not that I can think of like right now that can pop into my head, but more than a celebrative moment or festive moment that I recall, it's more than who supported me that comes into my mind. Who was my mentor, who consulted me the right words, the right strategy in order to make this business better. That's what I recall more. So if you ask me whether do I have these fond memories, yes, but I don't really like celebrate of oh, like we, we made a successful deal out of this. No, it's more like who sort of helped me out in 
this thing. How do you balance your business and personal life to maintain a happy and healthy life? Uh, well, the one that's super easy, probably you gotta eat well and you gotta exercise. That's like the first basic one-on-one -on -one that you probably need to fulfill. Because you can't work empty stomach. And you can, like, I, and I always believe with the right circulation of blood, with the right amount of oxygen, like the flexibility of your body, like really affects your mind. Because there were times that I slept very little, three, four hours a day. That was like a good day for me. Worst times were like two hours a day. And now I try to sleep at least six hours a day. Or if, I, if I'm good enough, I can do seven. And then I do the right amount of exercise. I normally do an hour plus, but continuously. And then you, you won't see the changes drastically or instantly. But throughout time, the change will be very, very significant. And if you ask me now, how do you feel compared 10 years ago? in your professional life, I feel a lot better. So exercise, I think it's so important, but you gotta do it continuously. So back to your question, how do I manage my time? Probably that is the most basic management skill that you need, like to have self-discipline and self-management, basically. What do I do in the morning, at noon, afternoon, and at night? So you just gotta be smart enough to fit in your schedule and work efficiently. It's very important to work, not to, of course, work. Working hard is important, but nowadays I think time has changed, obviously, through, through this uh, reformation of digital worlds, etc., etc. Everything become, became so uh, convenient, right, for us. So I think it's very important to work efficiently nowadays to, to maximize uh, your time within the short period of time. But obviously you need focus. As a family man, how much does your family play a role in your business and success? Well, I'm pretty close with uh, my family. Obviously, well, yeah, my wife, definitely. She's one of the biggest support system that I have, uh, which is very important because if you have a life partner that goes against your will, it, like that's kind of tough to, to even manage your own time. So that's one. Uh, my parents, my mother, my father definitely plays a big role. My sister, uh, who I don't really mention a lot, is actually one of the best advice giver. Yes, she gives the best advices that I, I hear, uh, better from anyone that I know. So yeah, they do play an in important role. Although, you know, it's not like we, we have time to repetitively talk about A, B, C, no, but when we meet, they definitely give me some good constructive uh, insights and if you ask me how do my family uh, come into play in this business so you know an apple doesn't fall too far from its tree I believe I got this I don't know thought mindset and spirits from my father who is a, an entrepreneur for a long time so I mean just being around him sort of like you get affected by the decision making how he approaches to you know problem solving and you know a, a lot of different things so I, I cannot really put it into words but they do obviously play a big role how would you define success well success has many meanings and obvious reason that you are asking how would i define success but i truly believe success is oftentimes related to material material stuff financial finances wealth it's, um, material things like physical things that you enjoy does it make life better yes of course like we cannot deny that you know, I, i'm not going to be the one who is idealistic enough to say that oh money can't buy happiness no that's not true it does buy comfort it does buy convenience it does buy a lot of things in life but i think the true success in my own definition is when you're at a point where you don't need anything else. And this has nothing to do with how much wealth you have, how much time you have, how much disposable income you have, nothing. You can be a, a monk or you can be anyone and when you tell yourself, I'm satisfied with what I have now, I can today die happily, I think that's very successful. What advice would you give someone who wants to build their own business? Uh, stop thinking too much be fearless and stick to what you believe don't be too influenced by what others say when you already have that belief system embedded in you so this is i don't know a lot of um, 
successful entrepreneurs that I met or even the ones that are obviously so famous that went against the wave of the current market condition like so uh, let's say for example Disney when he tried to write Snow White nobody kind of, kind of bought the story like why you, you want to do this animated way it's so expensive no one's gonna come to the cinema to do it and he even I think loaned out his house without asking his wife which was a bad decision of course and I don't suggest anyone to do this but it turned out to be a success why because he believed in it and he didn't really listen to what others are saying because one of the most successful ideas are not thought by many people only certain individuals have this vision and if you already have this vision I think you gotta exercise it to make it to realize it to become real so when you have this like seed or or the calling out of your soul or your heart which happened already to me and I, I really stuck into it and obviously then you gotta work hard you gotta work smart and you gotta really prioritize everything to make this right then I think the result can be out there. But then again, there is no successful formula, there is no guaranteed formula how you do it, but you just know uh, when you know, I think.